Hi, I'm Ross, and I'm going to teach you everything you've ever wanted to know about urine. We all know what urine is, otherwise known as pee, otherwise known as the golden shower, whatever you want to call it, but we all know that it just flows from the kidneys and down through the body, out your... You know. Boom. Here's the composition of urine. As you can see, it is 95% H2O. That's good old-fashioned water. And then the remaining 5% is split up between these different things. Urea, or urea, and that's basically a byproduct of the liver to remove ammonia. Chloride, sodium, potassium, and my personal favorite, creatinine. And then when you stir all these together, you get a beautiful cup of pee. You know how everybody says that urine is sterile? Well, it is and it isn't. Urine, like most things in your body, are completely sterile until it reaches the urethra. And I would tell you exactly what makes it not sterile, but there are a lot of big words on this piece of paper that are making it hard for me. I'll just flash it. Clear or colorless urine is usually a sign that you are perfectly hydrated, or you could be overhydrated, which isn't that big of a deal, except for the fact that if you're overhydrated, it removes a lot of the essential salts and other stuff from your body, causing you to get sick. And now, the color spectrum of urine. Yellow to dark yellow is usually dehydration. A light orange or deep yellow could be the removal of B vitamins from the bloodstream. Bloody urine. That's just not good. Bloody red urine, that means go to a hospital. Dark orange to brown urine can be a sign of jaundice. General black or dark colored urine can be the sign that you have a melanoma. Pinkish urine comes from eating beets. So calm down on eating beets, man. Greenish urine comes from eating a lot of asparagus. Other shades of reddish or brown urine can come from a condition known as porphyria. Blue urine can come from one of two things. Ingestion of certain medications that have maybe a blue dye or something of that sort, or blue diaper syndrome. And blue diaper syndrome is basically when the body has trouble digesting and processing tryptophan. Let's talk about odor. Specifically with asparagus, the body makes a weird smell from the urine when you eat asparagus because of asparagustus acid. Another particular odor that comes from urine is when you have a lot of spicy foods, and the reason for that is because the body doesn't always fully process really spicy foods, and so when something isn't fully processed, it just comes out like it came in, kind of like corn in your dookie. The average adult human produces about 1.5 liters of urine a day. That's about three of these. However, it can be hazardous to your health if you're producing too much or too little urine consistently. We all have bad days where we forget to drink or we're just in a super drinky mood. Polyuria is when you produce over 2.5 liters of urine a day. That's a lot of these. Oliguria is when you produce less than 400 milliliters of urine a day. That's like three-fourths of this. Even worse is anuria, which is less than a hundred milliliters of urine. That's like that much. Not even. Go to a hospital. Last but not least for my wannabe Bear Grylls out there, do not drink your own urine. I'm serious, I don't want to see this happening. Oh God. Somebody's been eating asparagus. Due to the high levels of sodium in urine, oftentimes if you drink it, you'll become more dehydrated. Huh? Experts agree that if you're in a life or death situation and you need to cool off and there's nothing else around you except for your own urine, get an article of clothing, like your shirt, rip off a part of it, and then put urine onto it and apply it to your forehead just so you can cool off and temporarily relieve yourself until you have a better option available. Also, do not pee on a jellyfish sting, all right? I've had a jellyfish sting of my own that's been peed on, and I've peed on other people's, and we can all agree that it does not work whatsoever, okay? It actually kind of hurts it more. And remember, urine is sterile until it touches your urethra. Once it goes out, no, don't, don't do that. Save it for the bedroom. And that's everything that you need to know about urine. For more information, just read this Wikipedia article that I highlighted. Boom. You know what? Yeah. Look, there's, there's the last video. I'll see you next week. I'm keeping it short, okay? How was your week? Mine was pretty good. I mean, it, I'm just glad to be on break. <sighs> hey, I'm getting my daily intake. What are you doing? Ugh. Like
like the the asparagus isn't really getting to me that much, but it's just like the salt and there's a little a little metallic taste in it. I don't know. Whatever. Nobody's perfect. I'm gonna go this way. See ya.